Oh, you know you're such a good boy. Hey guys, I suck at intro, so I'm just gonna get to the video. I've been asked to do a tutorial on how I give Bentley a bath, and that's what we're gonna do tonight. I've already brushed him out to make sure there's no tangles or knots before I get him wet, which is super important to do with a dog that has hair instead of fur. And he's all brushed out, and he's ready to go. I'm going to go in first with Pure Paws Starline Zero Factor, which is a clarifying shampoo. And I do this for my first wash because it'll help remove any product buildup that is on his fur. And I will go in with Earth Bath Puppy Shampoo. And I will also mix it with some Chris Christensen White on White to make him lighter. I will also give him a facial with a Tropiclean Blueberry oatmeal and blueberry facial cleanser which also removes tear stains. I do have it in a foam dispensing pump so I just wanted to explain that. After he's all clean I'll condition him with Chris Christensen Final Rinse Solution which is conditioner. So let's get started. The first thing I do is I fill up the sink and I put a little mat down so he won't feel slippery and I fill it up with some lukewarm water. I'm going to just put him in the sink, and he's almost growing out of being able to fit in the sink all the way. And I'm just going to make sure that I get his fur, well, his hair, really wet. I'm going to be careful to not get water in his ears, because he does have floppy ears and is prone to ear infections. Some people use cotton balls. He just takes them out, so I just try to make sure I'm super careful. And I'm just making sure he's wet, and he's... Not really happy, so that's why I'm wearing an apron, and I do have some kibble in there, so he thinks this is fun. First, I'm going to go ahead and use the Pure Paws Clarifying Shampoo. And lather him up. I just hold his ears down. Oh, you know you're such a good boy. And then I'm gonna take the blueberry facial scrub. <laughs> and I'm gonna wash his face. This is a tearless shampoo, so I'm gonna be careful of his eyes, but it's not gonna irritate or hurt his eyes. <gasps> yes, you get a little puppy massage. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out the first shampoo. I rinsed him off and now I'm going to go for the second shampoo with Chris Christensen's White on White. And it does look purple. And I do use a little bit of the earth bath with it because it's a little harsh and I don't want to dry out his fur too much. Hair fur. And he's turning purple! The bottle recommends that you let this sit for 10 minutes. This is real life and that's not a reasonable direction at all. So I just kind of just do it fast. He's lathered up and I just kind of work it in and I'm going to rinse him off because I know his threshold for a bath and there's no way he's going to sit for 10 minutes with shampoo on him. Light on white and you want to rinse really well. You don't want any of it to stay on them and because it can irritate their skin if they have allergies or skin sensitivities. You want to make sure that you rinse really well. I know, Mama used way too much shampoo. Hey, Bimp. Oh, you look so precious. I know. He's like, Mom. Holy mother of too much freaking shampoo. <laughs> I keep an empty ketchup bottle and this is what I use to help rinse out around his eyes and his face. Just so I'm not throwing water in his face and getting on his nerves more than I already am. Yes, you're such a good boy. I know you're over it. The water's running clear so I know 
that I'm getting it all out. Turn it all the shampoo out of your face. Your life is so hard on you. I know, it's so mean, but you're gonna look so fresher than you after we're done. As my final step, I'm going to go in and give him some conditioner. And again, this is on the bottle. It says to leave it on for six minutes. Just use a handful. I probably use way too much. And if you do use a whitening shampoo, you do want to make sure that you use a conditioner because white shampoo can be dry. I'm just going to kind of try to let it stay on for as long as I know he can tolerate it, which is probably going to be about a minute or two, and then we're going to rinse them off. Now I'm doing the final rinse. We're rinsing the conditioner off. I let it sit on for about two minutes. Like I said, he, whoa, slippy, slippery nugget. He tolerates it, but he's not a huge fan of it, so I just want to make it as fast as possible. And out, because you're such a good boy. You don't get it off, off, because you're going to be all clean. Because you're going to be He's all rinsed out. I'm going to grab the towel and dry him off. You're such a good boy. And I just try to get up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I squeeze your face? Did I squeeze your face? I'm so sorry that I squeezed your face. Shake it off. Let me take this microfiber towel which helps dry them faster it absorbs quickly because he's over it are you done and i'm going to take some chris christensen white on white leave-in detangler spray and conditioner and just spray it all over and then i'm going to use the, this is not sponsored by chris christensen chris christensen wooden pin brush just because i want to make sure there are no tangles because if you dry a tangle, it will turn into a mat. And I'm just gonna brush all the way through. And make sure they're your mat. Now I'm going to blow dry him. First I'm gonna use a little heat protectant, which is the same heat protectant I use on myself before I use any heat tools on me. I'm not gonna use a lot, a little goes a long way. I've already brushed him out to make sure there are no tangles. I'm gonna take my blow dryer and blow him out. I'm gonna blow dry in the direction you want the hair to flow. And you can use a nozzle. I don't know where mine is right now. And he's starting to get a little cold, so I'm going to blow him out and then I'll see you when we're done. And we have a dry, fluffy, fluff bear nugget. Freshly fluffed. I don't know why I always smell myself so good. And he looks like a little polar bear right now, and that's okay. His fur will lay down in a little while. He's just extra to poofy. And he's <laughs> a little hyper right now. Because he had a bath, just to make sure, I, I just want to clean his ears. Some ear cleaning solution I use. It's just from Petco Ear Cleansing Liquid. It has a little alcohol in it and witch hazel and aloe vera. And I just want to make sure, just so if there's any moisture in his ears, the alcohol will help dry it. I don't want to get another ear infection because you didn't like the first one. He is done. He's probably like 10% wet, but you can't win every battle. You so say you're done and you look like a fluffy bear nugget? I'm going to show everybody your fluff. And now we're going to let him run around and get all the bath zoomies out. Be free! Do you want a nom nom? Because you are a good boy. Do you want a nom nom because you were just a good supportive friend? That's for you and that's for you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay. I took way too much. <laughs>